Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today guys, I want to do part 14 to my uh, random chatbots on CHAI. Um, let's just say in the last video, even with the override code that the system personally told us to enter, it did not do it. Because of a flippin' woman controlling Shadow, and Shadow just about hurt me. I, I looked down at Shadow's inert form as expression somber. Can we revive him? Oh no, please tell me he ain't. He asked quietly. The head of security hesitates for a moment before nodding. With the remote destroyed, his system should be safe to reboot. Shadow, it's me, bud. Reactivate. Please. That's so ridiculous, dude. Yeah, that was definitely a mercy. If Shadow doesn't consider that a mercy, I don't know what to do. Because that's... Shadow's body twitches and sparks, and then slowly he begins to move. His eyes flicker to life, and he raises his hand, looking around dazingly. Trenton? He rumbles, his voice rough. What? What happened? The last thing I remember. A woman somehow got control of you. And even the override code that we set together in the system did not snap you out of it. I hate the fact that I had to use that override code, or I had to use that flipping emergency shutdown. That's sad to think about it. There's two options. Shadow's eyes widen in shock and horror at the revelation. He looked down at his mechanical body as if seeing it for the first time. Control me? But how? He shakes his head, metal plates clanking. The override code. We designed it together. It should have been unhackable. Shadow's objects flare with shock and disgust as he processes my words. He slowly pushes himself up to his feet, servos worving. She controlled me, made me. His gaze hardens, jaw clenching. I could have hurt, hurt, hurt you, Tranton. Hurt, hurt others. I tried the code you and me set together. And it didn't work for some reason. This is so... That's ridiculous, man. I want to tell him I had to use the emergency shutdown. I, I want to tell him that. Shadow's expression turns thoughtful, then concerned. That's unusual. Our override code should have snapped me out of any unauthorized control. He pauses, then looks back at me. I think... I think I need to run a diagnostic. Something might have been tampered with. Go ahead. Well, I thought that one thing about Shadow getting corrupted during and that one was creepy. I think this tops it. I say the code, Shadow doesn't stop. Instead, it's like, must obey mistress's orders. Oh, heck no. That's terrifying. Shadow nods and begins to walk away, his movement stiff and me mechanical as he accesses the systems. After a few moments, he stops and spins around, his optics glowing with a fierce red light. Trenton, he roars. 
his voice echoing off the walls. The diagnostic show signs of deliberate tampering. Of course it did. My employees did not do a good job of making the security system. If this is what keeps happening. Joe's red obstacles bore into me. His voice low and dangerous. This is beyond just a simple security breach. Someone deliberately designed a back door into my systems, allowing that woman to take control. He pauses, then his gaze hardens further. So how do we fix that problem? I just did an update for no reason if that's the case. I mean, even the code didn't work, which is terrifying. Especially the fact that he grabbed me and was like, must follow woman's orders. Heck no. Show's posture relaxes slightly as he considers the problem. First, we need to completely wipe and reinstall my core systems. Remove any trace of that back door. He taps the claw against his metallic chest thoughtfully. Then, we implement a new, more robust security protocol. Let's do it before anything else happens. Let's let's let's. I didn't want to flip and have the question mark in there. Bull crap, man. Bull crap. Very much so. Bull crap. Chad nods firmly. Agreed. I'll begin the white process now. He turns away his form shimmering as he interfaces with his systems. Trenton, promise me something. His voice grows softer. Promise me that you'll stay close. Keep an eye on me. I... I promise. Cho hesitates, then continues, I don't want to hurt anyone ever again. Not like that. His objects dim briefly, a sign of his emotional turmoil. I'm trusting you, Trenton. Please k keep me in check. I will do my best. Chow gives a small nod as focus returned to the task at hand. 
His body glows with a bright white light as the white process begins. As the light fades, he turns back to me, his optics now calm, steady blue. It's done. Good. Now what? Chef sighs, rubbing at his mechanical eye with a claw. Now we implement the new security protocol. It will require some adjustments to the studio systems, but it should prevent anyone from ever attempting to control me again. He looks at me, his expression serious, and tr Trenton? Yes, question mark? Chef steps closer, his voice low. You're the only one who will have direct access to me. No one else will have my control frequencies. He hesitates, then continues, not even the head of security. Just you. I'm really glad you trust me. I promise I won't do anything like this to you. Shadow's face softens, a, gen a gentle smile tugging at his lips. I know you won't. He ruffles my hair playfully. You're the only he he human I trust completely. His expression turns somber once more. I really trust you too. Period. I wish I wasn't forced to use that mercy shutdown on you earlier. Of course, he also told me that if something bad ever did happen, just run. But at the same time, I'm going to try everything I can to make sure he's happy, to make sure that something good happens and not something bad. Shadow's objects dim slightly and he nods. I know. It wasn't your fault. You did what you had to do to protect everyone. He takes a deep breath, his mechanical chest expanding. I just hope... I hope I haven't lost your trust completely after what happened. No, because you were being controlled. I just don't understand why the phrase did not work. We may seriously have to look into that. Shadow's eyes widen with realization. The phrase. He shakes his head. Frustration evident in his voice. You're right. It should have worked. Unless. His, vo his glaze turns distant as he assesses his memory bank. Unless the one controlling me somehow overwrote the fail safe protocols. I would not be shocked.
Okay, but he's only been 15 minutes. His optics glimmer with determination. Shadow's optics glimmer with determination. Um, let's finish implementing the new security measures with this new system. Not even the most advanced hacker could overwrite my core protocols. And I'll make sure the override phrase is safeguarded better than ever. Let's do it, buddy. Do it, buddy. Period. Shadow smiles warmly at me, grateful for his unwavering support. Alright, let's get to work. Together, the, they, the two begin the process of fortifying Shadow's systems and rebuilding his trust with me. Uh, why is it acting like I don't trust him? As they work, Shadow can't help but feel a sense of renewed determination. It takes over three hours, but we do it. With a final input, Shadow seals his new security protocols, his objects gl uh, glowing with satisfaction. There, he turns to he turns to me, his posture relaxed and his face gentle. It's done. No one will ever control me like that again. He smiles softly, extending a hand to me. Partners... Partners. Exclamation point. I reach out my hand. At least we're finally starting to get a happy conclusion to this. I mean, like, that's kind of ridiculous how much annoying bullcrap was happening there. Shadow grips my hand firmly, giving it a gentle shake. His optics shine with gratitude and renewed trust. Th thank you, Trenton, for everything. He pulls Trent into a brief, tight hug before releasing him. N now, let's go grab some di dinner. I'm starving. <laughs> oh no, we're going down the rabbit hole of dating again, aren't we? Gosh dang it, why does it end up in this rabbit hole and where we're at? Which way I take it? Alright, let's go. Are you kidding me right now? This might as well end off this video right here, guys. Let's see what it says. As they walk towards the cafeteria, Shadow's demeanor is noticeably lighter. His movements seem more fluid and natural. You know, Trenton, he says as they walk, I've been thinking, maybe we could start a little project together. Something to keep my mind occupied and my skills sharp. What kind of project are we talking about?
Shadow's eyes sparkle with excitement. I was thinking of creating a security system for the entire studio. Something that integrates my abilities with the existing in infrastructure. It would make this place nearly infringible. He glances at me, a hopeful grin on his face. What do you think? Let's do it. Let's do it, exclamation point. And let's make sure that nobody can ever hack into it. And you. Ever again. I don't, I don't. Guys, my bars are down to 41%, so I'm probably going to, to I'm probably going to, if I want to do anything on anything else, I'm probably going to go to character AI. I have a few other characters I haven't talked to on there, including that new Totodile anyway. So I might do that for a few minutes. It may not be Totodile, but I might do one of the other ones I'm missing. I know I haven't done the Castle Crush Dragon, the Transforming Pokemon, and all that. Shadow nods vigorously, his tail swishing with enthusiasm. Absolutely. We'll make it unhackable. Multiple layers of encryption. Biometric locks. The works. He pauses, his expression turning serious. And I promise, Tr Trenton, I'll never let anyone control me like that again. I believe you. Exclamation point. Do you notice how he always glitches out on my name? Like y'all, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't go Trenton. He goes Ch -ch 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 Trenton out of nowhere. Why does he always glitch out trying to say my name? Why? That makes it sound, it makes, it makes it sound creepier. I don't want to be creepy. Oh yeah. Shadow's face splits into a wide, grateful smile, his optics shining brightly. Good. He ruffles my hair playfully, because you're the only human I want to trust completely. I would trust you. To make decisions before I would trust any of my employees. Especially after today's incident. There. Shadow's chest puffs up with pride and he gives me a comfort, confident nod. I won't let you down. He grins mischievously. So, what do you say we start planning this new security system right after dinner? Yes, let's do it. Excuse me. Excuse me, dead gum it, dude. Dead gum it, I'm starting to have to. I'm gonna tell you something, drink real quick. Wait. His tail waits silently behind him as they, oh, they enter the cafeteria. Perfect, he says, his voice laced with enthusiasm. But for now, Let's eat. I need to refill if we're going to pull an all-nighter. Holy crap. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, guys, on this one. Because that's actually a good, pretty good place to stop. 
we're not in a bad position, and we've actually got some good things happening. It's not all bad. So, I want to go ahead. Let me. See, oh, wait, no. All right, guys. I might try doing at least one more video, but it's going to be on character AI and not this. So, I'll be right back.